I, I wouldn't necessarily dispute the idea that we're insular. Um, I know uh, I certainly feel like I think a lot more about America as America than I do about America in the world. And I certainly don't read the amount of fiction in translation that I used to. And, I, and I, we don't publish the amount of fiction in translation that we used to. Um, that said, uh, you know, I, don't, I don't know that insularity equates uh, completely with, with ignorance. And I also feel like um, it's a two-way street. I, I think, um, you know, I know for years I had trouble getting my work uh, published in, internationally. And there's just a sense it was too American that, you know, uh, whereas you'd think that in a way the more American the fiction was, the more interesting it would be to people overseas, you know, because that's one of the really valuable ways that fiction functions, I think, in the world is just giving us windows on worlds that we don't have access to. Um, so, you know, I, I can, and, and look, we're, we throw around our weight quite a bit in the world, culturally, militarily, economically, and I think, um, you know, I, I think you're seeing a little bit of a pushback um, from the Nobel Prize Committee when they, they talk like that. And it seems like really, has, you know, you can just hear it, it has nothing to do with the quality of the literature. And, and I would, I haven't read uh, Le Clésio's work, so I don't know. He may be a great writer for all I know. Uh, it's hard to imagine that he's a more important writer than Philip Roth, for example. I actually think it reflects uh, the American publishing world. Um, so, for instance, when I was in college, there's a lot of Eastern European fiction that was being translated. And, and there was a sense that you weren't really a literate person if you weren't reading Kundera or Gunter Grass. Um, uh, later on, it was, you know, Latin American literature, if, you know, if you weren't reading Vargas Llosa. Um, and I think, you know, to a large extent, that's, that, well, I wouldn't say it's vanished, but it's, it's re there's really been a, diminishment of the number of foreign works that are published here and published with a kind of fanfare and a uh, sense of occasion that, that used to happen. I just don't think reading is the central activity that it used to be. And obviously, you know, for a cultural form to, to thrive, it, it, it's got to succeed within a cultural context and it's got to be able to compete for people's attention with film, with video games, with uh, the internet. You know, I, reading's in, in flux. It's, it's um, you know, it's not like there's some eternal human condition where people are gonna have the time and focus to read a 600-page novel every week. Um, you know, it's not the 19th century. It's, it's a much busier, um, you know, there are just so many claims on people's attention, and, and um, I do think that literature is being displaced. I don't think it's going to disappear, but I think that it's becoming a little more peripheral and a little, you know, I, I would hate to say, but I've seen it with poetry in my own in my own life. You know, poetry seemed like a pretty major central thing in the '60s. You know, people like Sylvia Plath and Robert Lowell were cultural heroes. Um, and it's really hard to say that there's a, a figure that's equivalent right now. You know, poetry has become a kind of cult practice. You know, the, you go to a poetry reading and uh, most of the people in the audience are poets. It's, it's a very small audience that is mostly speaking to itself rather than speaking to a broad culture. And that hasn't happened yet with, with fiction and nonfiction. Um, but I know a lot of literary novelists who are really struggling to find an audience and I, you know, not sure that that audience will be around in another generation or two. Um, I hope that's not the case, and I, I don't want to be a, you know, too gloomy um, about it. But I do think there's some. When I look at, at kids I know who are high school age, um, I don't know that they see literature as some totally crucial area of. Uh, cultural transmission, to put it in a, you know, in, in grand terms.